there's very few people we meet in life that really have the long view, that are really thinking across generations, that are really willing to make the investments now that might not see returns in their lifetime. And that's Greenfield. My mother had been a freelance traveling nurse on the North China coast. A lot of her work involved basically midwifery. She was, in effect, a, a midwife. When we came to this country after the communist revolution, she was rather surprised at the quality and kind of medical care that was provided to pregnant women in, in this country. There was no midwifery uh, service at the hospital. That was really the beginning of the Little Act Foundation. Their vision of supporting how midwives were within the healthcare system has changed so much for this particular practice. And having nurse midwives here and elevated in a way so we could do so many more things has um, impacted how obstetrics is practiced here. So it's a very different kind of care not leaving your bedside, and uh, just a, a different kind of, of, of culture. And it's been our dream to have an expansion of nurse midwifery practice uh, across the country. Oh, it's um, almost hard to put words to it because it's so profound and special. I'm gonna get all teary because no other midwifery service in this country has had that kind of support and it's allowed us to do so many things. After my mother died, uh, we obviously took over the, the job of running the foundation, but we were both trained scientists, and so although we have always maintained the nurse midwifery program and supported it, we found that our interests broadened uh, considerably. Our areas that we are most involved with now are water quality, energy, renewable energy, and conservation. And that's what we spend our time on now. We need to be a premier research institution and also deliver a premier undergraduate graduate student experience. We can teach and do research at the same time They've just shown an overriding interest in catalyzing research. So much of the money that they've invested in the work of my students and myself has led to larger grants that have come from places like the National Science Foundation and have led us to make those initial discoveries that are so important um, for continuing funding in science and continuing our work with, with more people. A lot of philanthropists want to make an impact now. <laughs> and they want to hear about their impact now. Cree and Phil understand that um, some of the most profound changes that we need to enable in this world are gonna take a very, very, very long view. It's been a privilege to be able to sort of apply basic scientific perspectives to these everyday problems that our state is facing and to be able to make sort of reasoned judgments about the correct way to approach them. We, you know, support other institutions, other colleges and universities in, in the state, but the University of Vermont is the flagship. We have full faith that it's only going to get more critical and more prestigious in its focus on on research because that teaches people uh, how important it is to be evidence-based in all of your decision-making and then have our communication good enough to explain it to the public. What Cree and Phil have done is just remarkable and if you look across the landscape of Vermont you can see their work all over the place and again it comes with this commitment to Vermont and to the organizations and people of this place and uplifting and, and amplifying that work. The foundation works all over the state, north, south, east, west, from the Connecticut River to Lake Champlain. And it felt important to introduce advocacy to the academic world. And we need a lot more of that interchange 
the legislators, the government, and the academic world and advocacy world really have to have a lot of communication. I can't separate my experience at UVM or as a citizen of Vermont or as a father from the Lintel Acts. They have just been tremendous friends and uh, absolutely phenomenal leaders in everything that has to do with Vermont society and environment. They've been willing to uh, take the risk and uh, fund new ideas that ultimately are the ones that could change the world. We are devoted to the state and the next generation is devoted to the state. Louise, Will, Paul, and of course their spouses and, and so on will be involved as well. But we all have a devotion to the welfare of the people of Vermont, the health of the ecosystem here. I think what sets Cree and Phil and their foundation apart um, from others is their willingness to invest locally, to invest in local faculty and to invest in local problems, and to invest in things that make a difference. Just want to say thank you. Um, thank you for being wonderful people. Thank you for supporting research. Um, and thank you for catalyzing a whole lot of things that would have never happened without your interest and support.